good afternoon hello friends myself professor pundalik patil ascend college of engineering yevla in our tribology lectures in the lecture we have to see types of years okay so in previous lecture we are seeing friction okay so today we have to see the wear so wear is nothing but it is the process of removal of the material from one surface or both the surfaces of the solid state contacts so wear is a characteristics of the engineering system which is depends on load speed temperature hardness surface finish environmental conditions okay so wear is always and desirable for machine elements or machine components so we have seen now what are the various types of wears okay so in this types first of all we have to distinguish this wear on the basis of wearing contacts okay so first classification is single phase wear okay in this solid liquid or gas moving relative to a sliding surfaces which causes the material to be removed from the surface okay the relative motion for wear to occur may be sliding or rolling and other is multi phase wear <coughs> multi phase the name implies here the surface contacts are moved so in this wear the solid liquid or gas is moving across the surfaces acts as a carrier for a second phase that actually produces the wear okay so we can distinguish again this common types of wear mechanism okay So here we are seeing wear. It is a trivalent characteristic of surface. Okay. Then now we see major wear and minor wears. Okay. In major wears. they are having a two major wear is adhesive wear and abrasive wears so adhesive in last session we have seen adhesive which are come across fluffing galling or scuffing so the starting of this adhesive wear is due to the presence of interfacial adhesive junctions which are nothing but junction growth that forms a solid materials are in contact to on atomic scale the local pressure at the aspirate become extremely high as a normal load is applied these aspirates deform plastically as the yield point is point stress is exceeded until the real contact area has increased sufficiently to support the load so the amount of wear depend on the position at which the junction is sheared <coughs> if the junction is sheared at the position of the interface then the wear is negligible to zero if the junction is sheared away from the interface then the metal is transferred from one surface to another surfaces okay so in this at this wear the sur two surfaces are in contact and deformation of the contacting aspirates causes the removal of surface films then formation of the adhesive junctions failure of these junctions 
por este señor Yalin. So, this adhesive were majorly due to presence of adhesive junction and shearing of junctions. Okay. So, damage of the surface by harder materials. Okay. Then, lastly, two or three body abrasions. Means, two body abrasion or three body abrasion. In two body abrasion, one of the surface must be harder and rough. And here, the wear is caused by hard counterface. Okay, this type of wear occurs under the low stress conditions. And the example of this kind of wear are grinding, cutting, machining, or drilling. In three body abrasion, in this three body abrasion, a small particle of the grit for abrasive, which is hard surface act as a third body, that is contamination or contaminant between the two surfaces in the little motions. And the third body should be a sufficiently harder than the two surfaces to pass and resin. And the loss of material in this case depend not only the hardness of the wearing surface, but also the counterface and contaminant. And this type of wear result in high stresses. So example of this third three body abrasions, we can see lapping, polishing, compression, etc. And in this abrasion, <coughs> abrasion here, depending upon the degree of severity, this abrasion here also can be classified as gouging here, grinding abrasion here, and erosion abrasion here. And an example of this impact of the dust particle on blades of turbo machinery operation of fluid bed combustor. So these are Abrasive wear. The third is <coughs> fatigue wear. So, fatigue wear phenomenon can be explained with the two kinds of contacts rolling contacts and sliding contacts. So, wear at the surface due to the fatigue is generally quite common in rolling contacts. In the natural stresses, in this rolling, shows that the maximum compressive stresses occurs at the surfaces and the maximum shear stresses occur some distance below the surface. Okay. So, in this kind of wear, fertile wear, the large number of bearing has shown the, the life and bearing life in the line is inversely proportional to the cube of applied load W. Means, W cube into N is always equal to constants. Then, in case of sliding contact, the surface fatigue is the result of cyclic contacts load at a little while stress. <clears throat> then the next uh, type of wear is corrosive wear. In corrosive wear, the dynamic interaction between the environment and the matting material surfaces plays a major role. Okay. In this case, rubbing of the two surfaces takes place in a corrosive environment, which may be gaseous or liquid, and then surface reaction occurs that deposit the reaction product on one or both surfaces. This reaction product adhere poorly to the surfaces, and due to further rubbing, they are removed. This corrosive here is always depend on. Corrosive wear is depend on the reaction product, relative effective potential of the rubbing surfaces, etc. Okay, so these are some types of major wears, as I say, abrasive, corrosive, fatigue, etc. Then we have to see the minor types of wears. Okay, so in this minor types, we are having first of this erosive wear. Erosive. 
erosive wear. So it is the erosive wear that is nothing but it is the process of removal of the material by impingement of the particles at high velocity on the compact component surfaces. <clears throat> so erosion is more prominent for the material with high strain. This erosion here can be again categorized as erosion by solid particles, okay, which is known as cavitations, fluid erosion, okay, and third one is erosion here by particle and fluids, okay. So, fluid erosion. <coughs> In this first one is erosion of by solid particles. The solid particle erosion takes place when the discrete solid particles strike the surfaces and in this erosion process, forces of different origin may act on a particle in contact with solid surface. Means the forces of different origin may act on the particles in contact with solid surface. In this case, where it is always depend upon class of materials, environmental parameter such as impact velocity, impact angles, particle size, particle types, etc. Okay. Then our second is erosion by fluids or fluid erosion. Okay. To erosion. In this type of erosion, when a small drop of the liquids are made to impinge on the surface of the solid at high speed, very high pressure, and which is exceed the yield strength of most material, the fluid erosion causes the plastic deformation or the fracture from a single impact. And this third one is erosion by solid particle and fluid. This is known as cavitation and it arises when solid and fluid are in relative motions and they cause formation of the bubbles <coughs> that become unstable and implode against the solid surfaces. Okay, So cavitation is nothing but it is due to the impingement of liquid bubbles. Okay, The example of this cavitation erosion is <coughs> Marine propellers, okay, dam, slipways, gates, or all hydraulic turbines. Okay, then another types of minor wear is fretting wear. Fretting wear, okay. So the occurrence between the occurrence of this wear between the two metal surfaces loaded together when subjected to a low amplitude oscillatory motions or the vibratory motions. So fretting wear frequently occurs between the component that are not intended to move or press fits, which are press fit. The surfaces subjected to the fretting have a characteristics appearance with red brown patches on the ferrous metals. So example of this fretting wear are many static joints such as fringes, couplings, cleavage, which are subjected to vibrations. And this kind of wear takes place between the undersides of the screw or the bolt heads and the components being joined and can lead to loosening of such joints, and which is resulting in an increased vibration and thus an acceleration. And finally, wear takes place due to fretting. Okay. So these are some classification of these wears. <coughs> so in today's lecture, we are seeing different types of wears, how they takes place, and what are some examples of this kind of wears. So here to stop <coughs> in next lecture we have to see the measurement of the wheels. How to measure the wheels? What are the various 
we are measuring methodus okay thank you